friends welcome back to episode 7 in this tutorial I will show you how you can uh, pass the parameter in a method so let's get started open your ID uh, as you can see uh, in the previous videos uh, you learned method and method written type okay in this episode I will uh, show you how you can pass uh, a parameter as you, can, as you can see, the print ln uh, is uh, a function which you pass a value. The value is the returned value from the get max function. Then uh, you pass it in the print ln method and print ln method uh, uh, displayed uh, the value. So now I want to. Uh, use in a set uh, of this two variable uh, I want I want to remove this also and instead of this here here uh, we made a variable then we check if a is greater than B then return a otherwise return B now we don't uh, we don't have any variable okay just I want to put here now as you can see here uh, don't recognize doesn't recognize the a and b because we doesn't have a and b in this method so now you can uh, make your variable and be okay but this syntax cannot be accepted in Kotlin you should make you should use where a and where b uh, now as you can see here is uh, some problem uh, where in on function parameter is not allowed a type annotation is required on value parameter you uh, should instead uh, you should use the type instead of the word okay uh, you should use the type instead of the word for example you should you should clear the word uh, in a method uh, you, you don't allow to uh, put the var keyword uh, before uh, uh, making your variable now as you can see there is no problem but here as you can see some problem um, comes uh, this means now the get max function have uh, two parameters a and B uh, both of them also you can make one of them any uh, any means any type variable okay but as you can see here is uh, found some problem type mismatch required need okay mm, this because of uh, a here uh, uh, here a and b check if a is greater than b then return a a is a is not in it because uh, the uh, written type this is the written type of our method the written type of our method is in it not any so you will need any here okay now here is any you cannot uh, take any value to an integer variable so you should this also any okay now the only problem is exist uh, is missing the parameter so I want to make a uh, now now we have two parameters of type integer and uh, written type of our method also is integer and then we check the a and b if a is greater than b then return a otherwise return b but here uh, we, uh, we uh, have missing the parameter so you should put the parameter here for example 100 and 500 now this is the parameter value 
you pass 100 to A and 500 to B then here check if A is greater than B A is 100 B is 500 so this means this means A is less than B so F will not return A else will return B so now 500 will return then B this is B B is 500 so D will return it and here will will back 500 and that will assign to A and then we print A so 500 will print here okay as you can see this works nice uh, also uh, you can make uh, one one of your variable one of your variable Yeah. Okay. As you can see now here is uh, uh, found some problem. Okay. It's like as this. Now B is integer. Okay. So it's double. For example, five one hundred point zero. Okay. So now uh, you have here a double. Here also should be a double because we we return a double value. But now here is a problem. B is integer. B cannot return uh, of a uh, by a double return type. So here we can cast. Okay, we can cast double now as you can see it works nice as you can see 500.0 point zero hmm. what will happen if I make this an integer now this is integer it is not integer if I put the, uh, this as a double, now what will happen? What will happen? Uh, this means B is not B is not double, and A is not double. Okay. B is not integer. A is not double. Okay. So this was the only problem. So thank you for your watching and see you in the next video and don't forget subscribe button of my channel. Goodbye.